So as some of you guys may have known, I got these three crazy ultra-wide monitors from NCIX a little while ago, and ever since I got them, I've been wanting to do a video where I just go in to Assetto Corsa and just play around with the game and have some fun with some ultra-wide action and see what the game is like. So slight issue, uh, it's so wide having three ultra-wide monitors, nothing that I have can actually record the game in like its full resolution, super, super ultra wide. I'll show you what it looks like in a little bit, what it would look like on a 1080p display if you were to sort of like downscale it and stuff. But the resolution is 7,560 pixels, I believe, wide by 1080 tall. So it's just crazy. You get this super wide view of your cars if you're playing a set of Corsa and basically just any game. Playing GTA with this setup is just ridiculous. You can see everything around you. Anyway, so in Assetto Corsa, I decided to play around with this BMW M3 and just drive around the Nürburgring for a little bit. That was good, and then I remembered that there's some pretty cool cars. Like some cars where you can actually sit in the middle, like this McLaren F1. So I'm driving in the middle, and I'm just having some fun with that, and that is the most incredible experience. You're just sitting in the middle of the car, you can see both your passenger windows, it is a crazy, crazy experience. So I wanted to talk a little bit about NCIX and sort of sort of talk about my computer that I built because some of you guys know that I built a brand new computer with them. I'll include all the specs for that down below as well. This, this game is playing off that computer alone, so that's pretty cool. So I'll include all the specs for that in the description down below. It was actually a really nice sort of setup building the entire thing. NCIX actually does some really cool things where if you're sort of like me and a little bit incompetent, you can go in and actually have them build it for you, which actually saves you a bunch of time, a couple of hours, and it's, and it's fairly cheap actually, which is not too bad at all. So if, if you do choose to save time, I didn't for this, com my particular PC, but that's, that's one option they provide. They're also a Canadian company, which is really nice. It's always nice to work with other Canadian companies. They actually headquartered out of BC and have places in Toronto as well, which is really, really nice, but they actually do ship to the US as well, which is really cool. So if you are an American, make sure you check out NCX as well, because it's, it's where I've been getting all of the stuff for my PCs recently. But uh, yeah, they've been really awesome to work with. They hooked me up with these three monitors. They helped me out with the PC, which was really nice. And they basically allowed videos like this to happen, which I never thought would happen. Anyways, this is what I was talking about when you get these three ultra-wide monitors together and you sort of try to downscale it a little bit. It really doesn't work very well. It just looks ridiculous. This is, it will sort of look very distorted and things like that. But that's essentially what I'm playing. And if you could imagine that a little bigger, and expand it over three monitors, that's what it's like. This is me just driving around in Michael Schumacher's car uh, from a couple seasons ago. Very, very cool around the Montreal Grand Prix circuit, my particular favorite Grand Prix circuit, favorite racetrack in the entire world. It's down the street and it's really, really cool. Uh, it's, al it's always fun to race around here and especially where you can get a car like Michael Schumacher's old F1 car, even cooler. But yeah, that is what it's like if you were to sort of downscale it to 1080p or 1920 by 1080. That's what it would look like. But if you can imagine that spaced up and on three monitors, it just looks absolutely incredible. As soon as when I first got the uh, ultra wide monitors, I was sort of like, yeah, they're cool, but I didn't. I, you can't really experience them in their full sort of capacity until you do something like this and you get in a car or you get in like a flight simulator game, like Microsoft Flight Simulator thingy. I'm not very good at that, I keep crashing crashing planes, that's always bad. But uh, if you get in a game like that, or GTA even, and you just have fun like that, oh my god, it is an unreal experience. It is just freaking cool. Anyways guys, hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, check out the links in the description down below to NCIX. Check out the specs for the computer as well, I'll link down there and the monitors for yourself as well. Anyways guys, thank you very much for watching. Subscribe if you enjoyed. Go check out NCX in the description down below. See you guys in the next one. There, in the top left, it's actually under me. So every driver should stop before the straight, and I guess we'll start with Mr. Alex.